Hi everybody. You join me back here. We're working up the front fairing. In the last video, we sort of uh, we got the whole situation set up. We got the plane jacked up. The tail is tied down, so that nose there is not touching the ground, right? The, so the nose tire there, it's basically in free, it's free hanging, right? And the idea behind this is this is how so this is so the plane is flight level. And the nose is hanging down low. Now, in that orientation, what would you expect the fairing to look like? Well, you would hope that it would be level with the other fairings, right? And that's basically exactly what Vans has you're doing, right? So you got the nose off the ground for a reason. We've got the support blocks in place. We've got a spacer underneath the tire. You can see I've got that uh, painter's tape extending along the back line of the fairing that goes directly towards the tail. We've got plumb bobs. We've got um, we've got uh, we got 90 degree angles here. We've got everything squares. That's what I meant squares. Okay, so here's what we're going to talk about this time. So in the last video, I mentioned that I wanted to have this fairing a little bit higher than the regular fairings. If you look right now at the main wheels versus this wheel, you will see that it definitely is up on the tire higher. In this case, by about a little bit over a quarter of an inch. I tried to get it right at a quarter of an inch, but that's tough. Why am I doing this, you ask? Two reasons. One, um, chalks don't fit. Chalks definitely don't fit on, around the main ones. Uh, you can see one of these uh, plain uh, uh, metal chalks you buy from Spruce. I've got one half of an old set from the club that I use. It doesn't touch the tire. All it does is grab the fairing. Um, so I wanted something, one, that could actually use fairings. Two, after having flown with legendary transition training guru Mike Seeger, he showed me that grass isn't a thing at all. Grass is just a different kind of surface that you can land on, even in a high-performance jet rocket like this. So I plan on doing a lot of grass landings. Now, the mains, not really worried about the mains. It is the nose. Right? Mike taught me, you know, the nose is what you want to... If you're going to baby anything, it's baby the nose. So, uh, just having a little bit of extra clearance because the, all the grass strips around in California that I go to, um, the grass is generous. And so you definitely, I want just a little bit of extra clearance. Uh, and speaking of clearance, you can, you've seen me uh, in the last couple of minutes, I've been cutting out the hole for the tire, right? So again, all these fairings come, you know, basically uncut and you need to cut to the final size because not everyone, maybe I want to use a big fat tire. I mean, I'm not, but maybe I do. And you want to have at least a 5 8 inch clearance around the entire tire. <clears throat> Thus, the Dremel is out and we are cutting away. Now, there is challenges with raising the fairing higher. Uh, mostly that one, uh, the top of the fairing is normally going to be right at the bottom of the vertical piece of the nose strut so that the, the turning radius is, is pretty easy and there's not a lot of uh, metal getting in the way and you don't have to worry about it hitting anything. With it being raised higher like this, you can see it's much higher on that leg, so we are going to have to cut out more uh, fiberglass to keep it from hitting the gear leg as the wheel is turned left and right. That and we are going to have to make an adjustment on the front leg. So uh, if you look at the front leg there, you can see, uh, I'm sorry, front leg fairing. So if you look at the front leg there, you can see the two little pieces of metal near my head that jut out from the bottom. Those hold nut plates, right? And the nut plates will have a screw on each side going from the nose leg fairing into there, right? That's one of the places that it's secured. Well, normally the fairing is beneath that by you know, an extra quarter of an inch. So I basically, well, I'm a little bit lower than that even. So I'm basically having to cut at least a quarter of an inch off the bottom of the gear leg fairing, or it won't even fit at all. So there are adjustments. Uh, here you can see I have match drilled. So the support brackets underneath, I've, I've match drilled holes from the fairing into there. Normally you're supposed to do them all at once, but I found if I just drill the holes in the support brackets first, then I could actually see them, I could see them transparently through the fairing, which normally is not gel coated, but in this case is. Anyway. Alright, 
uh, let me see in the next video we are going to go back to the panel so thank you for joining me everyone see you soon